Big Q. Hey, what's happening? I've surprised you here without any warning. No, no, what's happening? A kid in Georgetown gave uh -huh. the best post-game speech of all time. Uh -huh. I know if there's one person in this building that can be counted on for the exact polar opposite of that kind of enthusiasm for life, mm -hmm. it's Big Q. So I want you to give us your post-commercial inspiration pep talk. Like you just got a commercial written by a dyslexic, uh, one-handed person on a typewriter. I, I don't know what that one-handed thing has to do with it, but uh, I'm just trying to put an image in your head. Okay. And Big Q, congratulations on that commercial. That was fantastic work. Uh, I know that it's got to be real tough for you to, to take what you're given sometimes and, and make magic out of it. How are you feeling after that commercial? I feel spent, Jamie. Exhausted. I have to question God, really. Is there such a God that would allow such dribble to be put on a piece of paper and then be forced to spoken to a microphone and then placed on a radio station and, and then just regurgitated over and over and over again with no point whatsoever and yet be able to charge a person for that. It pains me really. If I was a drinking man I'd be three quarters of the way down a bottle of Southern Comfort thinking about maybe getting a second. And it's Monday. Four it's more Monday. days to go. Thank you, Big Q. Truly inspirational words.